What's going on? What's going on? How we doing today? It's your boy back with another one. You know, this is part seven of the Locking In series. And man, let me talk about Locking In, man. I think uh, throughout this week, I've I've made I made significant progress, man. And things have been getting better in terms of just my commitment to taking life seriously. I've grown both mentally and physically in many areas i feel like this is kind of weird this is a fair angle in many areas um i feel like you know fuck is that better okay so i feel like i've been growing in many areas and you know i've been trying to have some prs at the gym but you know here's the thing man you gotta stay hard, man. You gotta keep going no matter what happens. You gotta keep going, you gotta sweat, you gotta put on those hours, and you gotta keep grinding. You gotta be the hardest worker in the room. No one's gonna do it for you. No one's gonna lift those weights for you. Nobody by yourself. Nobody's gonna stop you from eating that food. You gotta do it yourself, man. You gotta commit, you gotta put in the effort, you gotta put in the hours, put in the hustle, man. This is all, this is all just, it's a ticking time bomb, man. You know, it's a ticking time bomb until you explode from so much that you've built up throughout the years. That you know, it's just it, it harms people around you. What you need to do is you need to slowly disable that bomb. You know, whether it be a bunch of bombs or just one big one, you need to you need to learn to disable all of them. You gotta be the bomb disabler. You gotta be that guy in the hazmat suit or whatever that goes into try and save the day. You know. Because at the end of the day, man, it's this is your life. This is what you're doing with it, man. This is this is how you get by. And if every day you don't put in 100%, you're not gonna get 100% out of this life. Like, what kind of life do you want to live? What kind of what kind of car do you want to drive? What kind of girl you want to be looking at? What kind of, what kind of girl you want to be with? What kind of everything? What kind of body you want to be in? This is your vehicle, man. You gotta take care of your vehicle. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body, your mental, your physical, everything. You gotta put in those hours to, to challenge yourself, to push yourself to new boundaries, to test the limits of what you're capable of. You gotta do it all, man. You gotta do it all. And you know, people say to me, man, I'm just lazy or just don't have the time. Dude, you're already, you, you know, there's people out there that make the time. And you know, maybe I, I get it, man. Sometimes people are just not meant to compete makes it easier for us makes it easier for the rest of us that really want to be out here putting in work you know and i don't see you at the gym honestly it makes me feel better it makes me like okay there goes another one there goes another body like david goggins says man you're taking souls and i'm here to take all the souls man as, as many souls as i can take people ask me man hey dude you you're in here consistently, man. You're out here every day. Do you ever do you ever take a break? I don't want to. Sometimes I just can't go. Sometimes I just got too much on my plate that I gotta deal with. You know? And the gym to me is an escape. And sometimes, man, I can't escape things. Sometimes I gotta deal with life. And when that day comes, when that when those days do come. I don't just start going crazy on food. You know, sometimes I, you know, up the calories a bit. But I go in the next time, and I go even harder, man. You got to balance the scales, man. Because no matter what, man, the scale is always going to be unbalanced. But it's up to you for just a fraction of a second to balance them. And then just those subtle moments, everything feels at peace, everything feels right, everything feels correctly in place and balanced. And that's what I live for. I live for the balance. I live for the balance and the disbalance. I mean, that's, you know, counterintuitive, but you know what I mean. I'm here to, I'm here to tilt the scales. And that's the kind of mindset I feel like people need to have 
you know, as you progress in your journey, you start to realize that there's a lot of, there's a lot of dead flies out there, you know? A lot of people start to drop out like flies. A lot of people quit. Most people quit. 90% of people quit. 99% of people quit. Don't be that 99%, man. Be the 1%. Make your, make your worst day their best day. Or even more, you know? Do more. There's more to do. There's always work to do. You can't just sit down and rest. You know, I, I'm guilty of this. I know I keep saying this. I'm guilty of this too, man. Sometimes I just gotta chill. And I'm working on not doing it because I'm running out of time, man. The clock is ticking. You gotta move. You gotta keep grinding. Keep at it. And that's what I'm doing, man. This is just what it's like. One, one twenty-six in the morning, and I'm not gonna make this video. Nobody here getting no views on these YouTube videos. But who the fuck cares? This is what we do, man. That's it. Stay grinding. Stay hard. Keep going. Lift more weight. Sweat more. If you're not sweating, you're not working. That's the way I look at it. Keep improving. Keep doing things. Keep doing it. Keep at it.